What's up guys? My name is Nick. I run IGB Updates and I'm here to bring you guys a tweak of the day. Now, I'm going to try this out. I'm going to do this for about a week and see how successful it is. So, the more likes, the more comments, the more interaction I get, the more videos I'll make. So, the first one I'm going to talk about today is something you can do to your lock screen. Now, if you notice my lock screen is blank right now, but if I go in to settings and then I scroll over to lock to this site Sidget or whatever and I respring my iPhone weather will pop up on my screen at all times now I think this is a pretty cool thing uh, I don't have to go straight into my weather app um, it's completely behind everything so it's pretty cool guys I really 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 like it now the only downside to this tweak is the fact that it does take a little bit of uh, script editing to get it to work for your particular location. So let's start with uh, with getting it set up. Okay guys, so basically to start, I'm going to include instructions on my website here and I'll include a link in the description. But basically what you're going to do in order to get this particular tweak is you're going to need to start in Cydia. We're going to go to Manage Sources and you're going to add this particular repository, Byte Your Apple. So repo.byteyourapple.net. And once you've done that, you're going to search and you're going to install two applications. The first one is iFile. Now it is represented by a yellow apple. You're just going to install that. The second one you're going to install is iOS 7 Lock Screen Weather. <laughs> Now, one of those particular files is blue, but you want to install the Bite Your Apple one, which is the exact same version, but cracked so that you don't have to pay for it. So you hit install, confirm. We're going to let it install. It should only take a second. Okay, so now that it's done, we're going to return to Cydia, and you're going to go over to settings. You're going to go down to Sidget, lock screen Sidget order. You're going to select iOS 7 lock screen weather, Close out, settings, and basically what you're going to do is respring your, de your device. Now that should be already done, but I'm going to do it again regardless. So I'm going to slide up on this. I'm going to restart. It's going to respring my iPhone. And now luckily, I think somehow this app found my location without me editing things. But to make sure we are going to edit things. So we're going to slide to unlock. Now don't look at that information as in it's correct and stop there. I'm going to show you the correct way to do it. So you're going to slide over to iFile and you're going to go down to System, Library. You're going to scroll, let's see, you're going to go to Lock Sidgets, iOS 7 Lock Screen Weather, Script, Config, text viewer. Now once you're here, I strongly suggest you listen very, very carefully because if you screw anything up, this thing is not going to work. You're going to hit edit in the top left corner. You're going to scroll down until you see this particular line, document.cookie equals, in quotation marks, cookie zip code equals blank. Now before the quotation marks right after the equal sign you're going to put your marker right there and you're gonna type in your zip code so I'm gonna do that hit done now my zip code is in the file where'd it go okay so then the next thing you're going to do is you're gonna change this line document dot cookie equals cookie woo ID equals bunch of numbers now the next thing you have to do is very important. You're going to go to the link that I've included in the description. It's wooid.rosselliot.co.nz lookup and I'm going to put in my zip code that I just typed in. So I'm going to type this in. I'm going to look up. Now I'm going to find my county, my state, my country and I'm going to copy that or remember that wooid. So I'm going to type that in where these random numbers are Let's see I'm going to delete this and include that number so 
I'm going to enter 127, 86, three zeros. Okay, so then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to cookie temperature, which is this one right here. You're going to change that C, which represents Celsius. If you like Celsius, by all means, keep it there, but I'm going to change it to an F. And once I'm done, I'm going to hit save, done, close out of this, and I'm going to restart my iPhone by holding the power button and the home button at the exact same time until the app or the iPhone turns off and comes back on. So you guys are going to lose my iPhone here for a second because it's going to freeze. It's not in real time. The Apple just came up. And I'll come back to you in a second whenever this is all done. Alrighty guys, so we're back and there it is. I've got uh, my current location. It's 11 degrees. It's cloudy. My sunrise is 7.18 a.m. And sunset is 5.43 p.m. It gives you a four-day forecast, which is pretty cool. And it's there. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter at IJB Updates. And if you like what you see, come back for more. And I'm going to have another uh, iOS 7 jailbreak tweak of the day coming up tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys.